Hi there, thank you for joining me. I am Bo and today I'm gonna do a very short first flight video with the QR X350 Pro. So a lot of people are asking me and I read on the internet that people are not getting this to fly right the first time around. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm assuming you've already charged the battery and we have this one. You should have watched my other video and balanced the propellers if you pay close attention, you can see tape right here because I balance these propellers. So this thing is ready to fly. I'm not going to fly it with the camera today because flying with extra weight is a bit like riding a bicycle with your girlfriend on the back. It's a wonderful experience, but the bicycle becomes a little harder to drive. It's not that it's hard, it just handles differently. So let's start out with an empty, no payload quad. And we're gonna put this down here for a second. The first thing we're going to do, if you notice this thing I have around my neck, it's a little voltmeter. So we're going to take it up here so you can see, and I'm going to plug it in. And it tells me that all of the cells has 12.1. There's one about 4.4.13, 4.0, oh, that's a little low, but it's, they're all good. We have 12 point some volts of power here. I hope you can see that, it's a little hard to see. So what I'm gonna do, that we have checked the battery, I'm gonna plug it in here. Notice I'm not starting out on the grass, I'm starting here on the sidewalk or on the stairs, which I know is level. So you have to have this thing level when you start. So I'm gonna plug this in, like that. And that is beeping. So the next thing I'm gonna do is Make sure all the switches are up and turn on the radio. And it wants, you hear that beeping? It's because the throttle has to go in the down position. So that is also ready now. So with that out of the way, and it has stopped blinking down here because it's been binding, we're just gonna put the cable in. There. This is now put in and I've closed the door and this thing is starting to acquire GPS signal. So that you can see it, the big thing I'm after right now is the start. I want you guys to start safely. And I put it out here. So you should be able to see what's going on. And I'm just gonna stand behind here so you can see as well. As again, I'm gonna repeat myself all of the switches in the up position and then what we're going to do is take the throttle stick and move it down and to the left now the light came on and the motors are armed so i'm going to push this up a little bit and when we give it a little more power i'm going to check if it rocks right and left forward and backward so i know that the stick is working right so let's give it a little more power. Now I'm about 25%, 30%, and I'm gonna pushing it left, then I'm pushing it right, then I'm pulling it back, and I'm pushing it forward. As you can see, when the roll pitch stick is centered, my quad is pretty much centered. So we are ready to fly. And I'm gonna, if you see here, we're at about 30%. So now I'm just going to go ahead and push it up and you can see the thing lift off. And just like that, we're flying 100% manual right now and it's just hanging there. And you can see I'm, I'm doing a little bit of nicks here. Just moving the stick a teeny bit to keep it in place. So I'm just gonna push this away from me a little bit. And as I'm getting it out here, that's a good place. It's a little bit of wind, but I'm gonna push this into GPS now. And it's in GPS. And it's just hanging there. I'm gonna push it to the left to get away from the roses a bit. And there we are. We are flying GPS. Notice the throttle stick is in the middle. It should always be in the middle. Now, if I want to fly this while in GPS, 
I can fly it like that. It's gonna fly out, let go, and it's gonna hang again. And I can fly and bring it back. I want it a little higher, so I'm gonna throttle up. And here it's hanging. And I'm letting go of the stick. And this is still hanging. Whoops, there's a bit of wind, so we can't account for the wind. But the thing is basically flying where it's supposed to be. I'm going to leave this in GPS, and I'm gonna go ahead and land now. So, there we go, we're bringing this down. And I'm just basically giving it a little less throttle so that it keeps going downwards. And whoops, there it is. And push the throttle to the right, throttle stick to the right, and that's gonna turn off the motors. That's it, that was the first flight. Um, I landed a little harsh, as you can tell, the bay popped open. And we're still in GPS. I'm gonna make sure to push that up to manual for the next takeoff. But that was my first flight. And the other thing I've learned about the QR350 Pro is that it gets better in the, after three to four, maybe five batteries. So the first four or five batteries, get it up to maybe 10 feet, three meters or something or just like I'm doing here, just hoover it around, get used to the stick, and just kind of fly it around very gently. And then after, you're gonna find after a couple of batteries, it's gonna be much firmer than it is the first time you put a battery in this thing. So that's it. I'm gonna come back with more videos, so please subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe thing, and check out my website at fpvguy.com. Thank you for watching.